Hi, my name is Brent Hawks. Behind me is the 519 and the park surrounding the 519. And during on Pride Weekend, that would be a very, very busy place. But right now, it's quiet. And even though things are quiet, we can still celebrate Pride. Pride has always been a combination of protest and celebration. Indeed, we have much to, be ce to celebrate. In Canada, we have decriminalization, we have job protection, we have human rights protection, relationship recognition, and most recently, equal marriage. So there is a lot to celebrate. We've seen the changes from when we were criminals, when we were deemed by the medical profession as sick, when we were deemed by religious communities as immoral. And now we see a lot more integration and acceptance in Canadian society. So there is a lot to celebrate. You know, it's said that one of the most potent forces in the world is an optimistic activist who both can be optimistic about the future, celebrate the past, but keep at it. Pride is also about protest. And it's important for us to remember that we never would have been able to get to celebration if we hadn't had protest. Protest against the discrimination uh, that existed and the continuing uh, challenges that exist for us. And so it's important for all of us to commit to celebration and to protest, to pick an area where you can be involved to make a difference. My organization, Rainbow Faith and Freedom, has chosen an area where they can make a difference, fighting religious-based discrimination here at home in Canada, where it exists in many places, and around the world. So as you think about pride, I would encourage you, yes, celebrate, and yes, commit to helping to make the world a better place so more LGBT people around the world can also celebrate. LGBT people need us to celebrate and protest. The future needs us to celebrate and protest. Happy Pride.